five colleges, lots of food, and a lot of people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am one of the many hosts tonight. My name is Connor Baker, and welcome to Battle of the Chefs. Hi, I'm here with Josh and Griffin. Hey. So guys, what has been your favorite dish today? Uh, my favorite was the pasta from the Harry Potter station. Yeah, I have to say the same. I think it was super ambitious to go with just a uh, made-to-order oh pasta bar. No. And oh! No. Oh, oh my! <laughs> Hi, we are here with Alex, who is a freshman here at Muhlenberg College. So Alex, how has your night been eating um, Battle of the Chef food? How is it? I've had everything, and I've loved everything, and I will continue to have everything. I'm here with Nikki, a Muhlenberg senior. So Nikki, what has been your favorite dish of the night? Um, I really enjoyed the fajita. It was really good. Hi, we are here with Michaela, Clarissa, Owen, and Ryan tonight. So guys, how have you guys been liking the food so far? It's pretty darn good. Delicious. It's wonderful. This is my favorite year of Battle of the Chefs that I've had. I'm here with the Grinch. So Grinch, what has been your thoughts so far about Battle of the Chefs? Have you, any, have you had the opportunity to try all the food so far? I'm here with Ross Wilson, Muhlenberg's executive chef. So Ross, what inspired the menu tonight? We have a um, literary classics theme for all the schools that are participating this year. Um, so who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? I think everybody can appreciate that. So that's the direction we decided to go in. I'm here with John from DeSales University. So John, what inspired your menu tonight? Uh, we, have, um, we have Hogwarts, actually, and Harry Potter. And what we have tonight is fresh homemade pasta and a variety of toppings. And we have uh, exploding bonbons, treacle tarts, everything that makes sense to have with Harry Potter. I'm here with Tim from Lehigh. So Tim, what inspired your menu tonight? Um, what inspired this was as soon as I found out they wanted to do authors or poetry. I lived in Florida for like 12 years and I know Ernest Hemingway. I love the book Old Man of the Sea and I love fishing so it was a no-brainer. We are here with Lila, who is five, and here with Jackson, right? Or Jackson, who is seven. Is that awesome? So you, you guys ate a lot of food tonight. Which one was your favorite? Uh, the chips, Dr. Seuss, and in the beach and Harry Potter. I'm here with Joseph from Moravian College. Well, when we were looking at literary concepts, I looked at different uh, literary books, not just classics, but even ones that relate to the, this generation. And, and my, my son in particular loves reading the, the uh, Star Wars uh, different novels and stuff. So I looked at some of the different classics and did spin-offs on them, such as Yoda Soda, BB-8 Balls, which are deep fried mac and cheese, Thai five fighter fajitas. I hope you guys enjoy. It makes it a lot of fun, something for people to identify with. I'm here with John from Northampton Community College. So, John, what's your inspiration for the menu tonight? Inspiration was off the book, but obviously, seeing the book, you can't really get an idea of what they ate back then. So, we actually watched a movie to see what kind of foods they had. And basically, back then, it was meat, potatoes, carrots, onions. So, it was a simple menu. We looked for a dessert to put on. And the desserts back then, there was no berries or ice cream. So, basically, all they had was bread, and they would do the best they could with it. So, they would bake it off and then put caramel on top, and that was kind of their dessert. So, it was a simple menu but it kind of went with the theme of what we were doing. Hi, we are here with Zach, Annie, Jillian, and Sophia, all freshmen. So guys, how have your first experience at Battle of the Chefs been? How's it been? It was really good. We had the DeSales pasta and it was, it was really good. Yeah, the Lehigh, what was it, the uh, mango pineapple oh. daiquiri, that was really good too. The butterbeer cupcakes were amazing. 
I really love the Wookiee pies. Those were so cute and so good. And I'm here with my with two very good friends, Josh Ackerman, he's a freshman, and the lovely Emma, she's the senior. So guys, what's been your thoughts about this Battle of the Chefs this year? This year's Battle of the Chefs is just amazing. It's my first one and I'm just so excited to be here. Um, I was really thrilled. I was online waiting for some pasta and Lehigh's table, they Uber Eats, they came right up, they delivered me a delicious burger, a nice um, mango drink, smoothie. smoothie thing, delicious. I'm here with Blake, a Muhlenberg senior. So Blake, what has been your favorite dish of the night? Uh, my favorite thing was the green soda, the Yoda soda, because I've never had a spicy soda before, and it was incredible, yeah. So, tonight we've had a lot of food, a lot of laughs, and a lot of stomach aches. But I think a lot of you guys have been curious. Which literary item has taken home the golden chef hat for tonight? May I get a drum roll, please? As they, as they sometimes like to say, there is no try, but there's only two. And tonight, Gilbert, I think, would like to say that they ain't, they're worth about a father. Congratulations, Moravia College. You guys are the 2019 Battle of the Chefs winner at Gilbert College. <laughs>